Going barefoot has been said to have a variety of health benefits. From stronger feet leading to better posture, making you quicker, even improving your circadian rhythm. But is this all too good to be true? Well, I decided to put this to the test. The following video is my journey going completely barefoot for an entire week straight. But you gotta focus. So on day one, I decided to do an outdoor park workout, consisting mainly of some calisthenics and some barefoot strides. Now I am no stranger to going barefoot here and there, but I believe because I was barefoot the entire day that this workout ended up making my feet extremely sore. Due to this increased soreness and some poor weather, day two was pretty uneventful. But that leads me to day three, where things start to get interesting. All right, so I just got done with a 30 minute trampoline session. Got a mad trampoline burn right on my foot there. But it's only the first layer, so I only cried for like five minutes. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna do something called grounding. That is essentially just running around barefoot in the wild. Supposedly in the hippie community, I shouldn't be using, I'm sorry for calling it that. Grounding can connect you with the earth, connect you with the magnetic sphere, and increase your energy and liveliness, etc., etc. That's what we're doing today. Let's get grounded. In order to ground or earth properly, you want to do so with bare feet on the natural earth's surface. So I found the most nature thing near me to practice this earthing the local forest. <sighs> Territory, boy. It's amazing how much more vulnerable you feel when you walk in pure nature with bare feet. But this kind of vulnerability is what is supposed to make you strong. Ah, termites! Break. With each step required complete awareness and control of my entire body as I navigated through nature. This felt completely different than your normal run. Muscles that I never felt work before being worked in the foot, calves, and ankles, uh. as well as a gritty mental mindset to continue with each and every step. Ah. So if you guys have seen some of my earlier videos, you guys know I often run outside barefoot, but that's just mainly like strides and like a tricking session. But when it comes to like distance running, this was very interesting running a total of two miles. You could see how that would strengthen your feet if you did that over time. Other than that though, my feet held up pretty well. The balls of my feet are extremely sore. No cuts or anything like that, maybe one sliver. I think I'm gonna call it a day in the wild and go home and take a shower. All right, so my dad would probably be super upset with me, but yeah, just got done cutting the long, barefoot. I highly don't recommend doing this, but I am currently in the middle of this barefoot challenge, so we did it. My feet didn't really get as green as I thought they would get, to be honest. I feel like my shoes get more green. Regardless, some updates on how I'm feeling. So yesterday night, my feet really started to cramp up in the middle right here, and the middle is like extremely sore. I was thinking of a good analogy how to explain the soreness, but it's like if you've ever been rock climbing for the first time and you've ever overdone it, and then like the next day, your forearm like right here, and like this area is just like this like sickening soreness. It's literally like that same feeling on the bottom of my feet. It's just kind of like, ugh. So I don't know if you noticed, but when I was cutting the lawn, I was kind of more heel striking to avoid that soreness, essentially. Yo, by the way, if you're wondering, I'm testing out these new Focus tanks and t-shirts and long sleeve shirts. I literally just ordered them from Teespring. Hopefully you can see them right below this video. They should be just like, you know, in that little merchant tag or whatever. Kind of basic, but I thought we'd just try something a little more simple. Only if you're interested. <sighs> oh man, I think we got a new sliver. My soft, infantilized, neutered feet were still getting used to the unpredictable train of the unforgiving earth. No, but for real, even with daily cleanings like this, my feet were getting pretty banged up from this process. However, I noticed a little more ruggedness and toughness developing on my feet by the end of day four, which I hoped would eventually make my feet immortal to the mutinies of this behemoth rock we call planet Earth. Got him? Oh man, my feet are so nasty. Look at this, guys. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning these off and then I'm gonna shower up. All right. 
Yeah, I was planning on working out today, maybe doing like a leg day, you know, like you guys have probably been waiting for, but uh, I don't know, I'm a little sore in the legs and my feet are pretty darn sore. In fact, something that's like kind of new is like my toes are burning. Like I think I chafed some skin off just by running on the ground. And honestly, the center of my foot is still extremely like tight and sore. But um, yeah, just kind of walking around, doing random stuff here, getting some looks, you know how it goes. Just gonna head home and pretty much relax the rest of this day and um, hopefully do some legs tomorrow. All right, guys. All right, guys, so we just got back from the store. Quite the day, but there's something I should probably disclose to you guys, all right? I, I, I was barefoot in the store for about a second. For, for the majority of the store trip, I was wearing these which are essentially just socks with like rubber grips on the bottom. So I actually specifically bought these for this experiment because I knew I'd probably have to go to the store or maybe even the gym. And I still wanted to have that, that those barefoot benefits. You know, if you go in the store with barefoot or the gym, at least where I go, you're gonna get kicked out because you know, it's like no shirt, no shoes no service. So I wore these, you know, to go into the store. I just took them off for a second. With that being said, I really haven't had to use these until like now. And honestly, these feel worse than the bare feet do. Maybe it's because over these past almost six days now, I've gotten so used to like walking on my bare feet. Like it just feels like more natural now, even though my toes feel like they're literally burned off on the bottom. I, I don't know, just, I feel like a more natural stride. And when I put these on for some reason, like the rubber, it didn't feel right. So I don't know if it's gonna feel weird when I put shoes on again, or maybe if it's just these, but um, yeah, these feel super weird and they look super weird too, so yeah. Anyways, literally now I'm just gonna be here, just gonna relax with my lovely wife right here. See you guys in a bit. All right guys, so just got back from the gym. I felt like for some reason, because I was barefoot, my grip felt better, like my grip in my hands. I don't know if that's some kind of connection between the central nervous system. Also, I felt very strong in the gym with all of those lifts, you know, considering we've kind of been going, I mean, decently hard on the legs this week being barefoot. Now this day, my feet, like the arches, actually don't feel that sore. Like they were a little sore in the morning, but as I got walking on them, they feel pretty normal right now. Even the balls of my feet, like they don't feel that sore anymore. So I think I have adapted to this barefoot lifestyle. That's where we're at today, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take 48 hours off. So I'm gonna take a rest day and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna look at my arches. I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up guys? So it has been 48 hours later and I've actually been still barefoot this entire time. I've just been taking it easy. I haven't been doing any workouts or anything like that. Now I have put on some socks during this time, but no shoes. I'm gonna get to that in just a second. But first of all, the results. So I just took some visuals of my feet now, eight days later. I don't know if you can really tell, but what it feels like is it does feel like I do have a stronger arch. In fact, it feels like the center of my foot is stronger. It's a comparative feeling to if you have, let's say maybe a couple good leg days in a row consistently, and you take a few rest days and then your legs feel way stronger and more solid. I feel that, but in the center of my foot. Also, it feels like I have more toe control and like, this is gonna sound hippie, connection with the ground or maybe like grip with the ground with my toes. I feel like I can like wiggle them a little bit better, which is kind of kind of weird. Now, as for my calves, they haven't seemed to grow at all since the last experiment where we did a thousand jump ropes a day. However, what it feels like is it feels like the muscles more down here or maybe the tendons, joints, and ligaments down there by the ankles 
are more tighter and they feel like they keep me a little bit more stable when I'm walking around. As for the bottom of my feet, they didn't actually get callous like my, my hands are callous right here from, you know, like pull-ups, handstands, etc. on like hard surfaces, you know how you get the callus on your hand. Yeah, there's nothing going on like that on my foot. I mean, maybe on my heel, but that was like kind of already there. You know, my heel was always kind of like just one big giant callus. However, my feet feel tougher to me. For example, when I walk on this wood floor, actually it's a synthetic wood floor, but I think it looks pretty. You know, it kind of used to bother me after standing up for like five to 10 minutes. I know I'm such a diva, but now I feel like, like I just can stand on it for a longer period of time without even thinking about it, like without even getting uncomfortable. I feel like I have more endurance on the bottom of my feet when it comes to being able to stand on a harder surface. Okay, now some things to note that I experienced throughout this experiment. First of all, one thing that's kind of interesting to talk about is circadian rhythm. That's like when you get up, go to sleep. Now apparently, grounding or earthing, walking barefoot on true nature or on true earth, not man-made synthetic surfaces, can help one circadian rhythm, help them wake up at the right time and go to bed at the right time. One thing I have to do say, I did feel like I had good sleep this week. I had no days where I was lying there and trying to sleep and it, you know, I was just sitting there for like two or three hours, like eyes wide open. Now that's all I can really say. I don't know if it was due to the barefoot thing or not. It wasn't super drastic, but I have to say this week, I did sleep extremely well. So taking away those shoes for a week did seem to strengthen my feet, make me more grounded, help me experience nature, potentially improve my circadian rhythm, make the bottom of my feet stronger, potentially give me more control with my toes, get me more connected with the ground beneath me. But with that being said, we're gonna put some shoes on right now and try them out for the first time in eight days. Let's see how this feels. Socks feel nice. I've got A6 Nova Blast. Oh. Oh wow, I feel taller. <laughs> that's like the first thing is I feel like way taller. Oh wow, that's soft. So I'm not gonna lie, these shoes feel pretty nice and fluffy. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in my bodyweight training program, Bodyweight Beast 2.0, check out OnlyKindsFitness.com. 12 week program, get in shape over the summer. It's never too late to start. This would actually be a great time to start in fact, you know, summer's here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn those notifications on. I have more videos coming out. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.